our best friends, Mikey and JJ, are being attacked by mutant hoglins. So we're building prime truck houses to get them to safety before the attack begins. Oh my gosh, Louie, when the sun goes down, those mutant hoglins are going to be here. Oh no, Pip, that is really bad. What should we do? Oh, well, I really like trucks. And I really like Prime, so we should build a Prime truck! Wait, good idea, buddy! All right, I'm going to build my Prime truck over here, and wait, what are you doing? Well, I'm just building my Prime truck, Louie. What does it look like? Uh, Pip, what flavor of Prime is this? Oh, just strawberry. This isn't strawberry flavored. This is dirt flavored. Ew! Isn't dirt flavored? Yummy. No, Pip. Dirt flavor is not yummy. You know what? While you sit over there and build your dirty truck, I'm going to build a real prime truck, and it's going to have a big red prime bottle on the back. I just need to actually build the truck first. I'm going to build a big white truck with a big red prime bottle on the back. So let me get building. So here we go. Let's get building. What I'm going to need to do is build some wheels. This will keep my prime truck off of the ground and make sure that it can drive away. If those mutant hoglins get crazy, I'm going to make my wheels look just like this. They look quite cartoony, but I think this is how they should be. Now, I'm going to use world edit commands to copy this wheel over, so I can copy and paste a bunch of wheels. I'll do one right here, and let's just walk a few blocks over like this, and let's paste one right here. Awesome! Now, all I need to do is copy these two wheels, and then I can make the wheels for the truck too. So, so let's just go right here, slash, slash, copy. And all I have to do now is just walk back a few blocks. As far as I want my truck to go, I think real trucks look just like this. They have their wheels really close at the front. And then at the back, the wheels go really far away. So I'll put them like this. Now this looks pretty good. All I have to do now is build the front of the truck. This is where the cabin will go, where the driver will sit. And these are pretty easy to build. You just have to go over the top of the wheel like this and then build back. And as you can see now, I have the shape of the cabin built. This is pretty easy as trucks are really, really easy to build. They are just really big at the back like this. And then at the front, they go really, really small. So to build a truck, you would do something like this. You would build the front bumper just like that, then connect it up to the wheels and build around them like this. This back area is where the entire driver's seat is going to be. And then everything back there is going to be the prime bottle on the truck. So let's keep building up into the air and making this truck look as good as possible. After all, if this doesn't look good, JJ won't want to stay inside of it and he might die to those hoglins. All right, here we go, guys. I'm building up the shape of this truck right now and I want to make it look really cool. So I'm adding all of the walls going up right now and I'm going to add this really cool little shape on the front for the grill. This is where all all of the air goes through while the truck is driving and also what cools down the engine. So what I'm going to do is put some black concrete behind it just like this and then this will give it the illusion that there's space behind it when there really isn't. All right, here we go. Fill it up with some black and now I can add the actual grill shape, which is just this. I'll put some gray concrete and I'll place them in this kind of shape in almost like a zigzag. So one block of black is showing and then one block of gray is in front of it. That will make it look like a grill. And that will absorb all the air. Perfect! Now, I want to make this truck look a little bit more rounded. After all, trucks aren't exactly square. I think that kind of shape will do. What do you guys think? Well, Louie, I can tell you what I think. It looks trash! What? What do you mean it looks trash? I think it looks great, Pip. After all, I'm only onto the hood right now. This is just the hood of the truck. Oh, is this supposed to be a grill? Yes, it is, Pip. Look! That's what gets all the air to cool down the engine. Do you like it? Louie, you don't even have any grills. Wait, what? What are you placing down? And what, Pip? Not this kind of grill. 
Well, I mean the kind that goes on a car. Well, how else are you going to make your burgers? Oh, Pip, I'm not making burgers on this truck. I'm sorry to tell you. But I could add a kitchen if you want. Oh, a kitchen on a prime truck would be so delicious. Oh, yes, it would. But, Pip, I have better things to worry about right now than a kitchen. I need to build the actual truck itself. I've built the front just like that. But now I need to build where the windows will go. So I'm going to build a really big window on the front. And I'll make it wrap all the way around like this. That is a very, very big window. Let's just make sure that it holds in place by putting some white concrete to be in the way. Now, let's get some black stained glass. This is the kind of glass that goes on a real truck. This makes it so that you don't get distracted by the sun because it almost works like sunglasses. It's really good for your eyes. Did you know, Pip, I've never been on a real truck in my life? That might be why my build is looking a little strange right now. How have you never been on a truck, Louie? I've been on so many trucks before. Wait, you've been on a truck? Can you tell me about it? Yeah, Louie, when they shipped me from the farm. Wait, they shipped you from the farm to where, Pip? To another farm. Oh, that would make sense. Why do I even bother asking you about your life, Pip? You always say such silly things. It's not silly, Louie. It's very serious. Wait, what? Uh, Pip, what just happened to your voice? Uh, nothing, Louie. What do you mean? Oh, I don't know. I just heard your voice go really deep, and it got very scary. But oh, I can't think about that now. I need to keep building my prime truck. Look at this, buddy. I've gone ahead and added this little round area to the top of my truck. It's looking a little bit more like a real truck cabin. Oh, that's but it's still not going to beat my truck. Oh, yes, it will, Pip. Just you wait and see. JJ and Mikey are going to love this thing. All right, guys, but now what I need to do is just fill up the back of the truck with concrete like this, and boom, we have a big window and also the front of the truck. This looks pretty awesome, but I think there's something we're missing, and that is the massive headlights that trucks have. So I'm going to add them right now. Let me get some yellow concrete and some yellow yellow stained glass. This yellow stained glass will make it look like it's glowing. I'll just put it over the top like this. And as you guys know, in real life, trucks have these big glass coverings over the front of the headlights. So this is going to look really awesome when it's done. Let me just fill up these blocks here for the headlights and place them all in front. And now we have some big yellow headlights on the front of this truck and it's looking awesome. But wait, we are forgetting one thing and that is the light license plate. After all, if I get pulled over by the cops, what am I going to say? So let's go ahead and add a big yellow license plate on the front out of concrete like that. And then on it, I'll try my very best to write Louie. It should be very hard though. I'll just put Lou... I. Loy. I'll put Louie like that. I... It doesn't really say Louie, but it looks like it does. All right, there we go. We have a license plate, headlights, and wait a second, we don't have a door. So let's add one of them. Those. Just to do that, I'm going to add a door shape to this window, and I'll make it come down like this, and then connect to the wheel. I'll do it again on the other side, and boom! We now have a really cool door shape, and I'm going to add a door handle onto it, just like that. Now, we should be able to open the door to our truck and get inside whenever we want! But I can't forget one crucial detail of trucks, and that is the massive exhaust pipe coming out of the top! That is where all of the smoke comes out of it. That looks pretty cool. Let's just go ahead and add a big smoke cloud coming out of the top, just like this. This will make it look like it's actually driving. Whoa! All right, but something's looking a little bit weird, and I think I know what. It's the fact that we don't actually have anything on the back of the truck. So let's go ahead and add something there. I'm going to go ahead and get some red concrete like this, and I'm going to place it going all the way back over here. After all, this is going to be a red prime truck, so I want it to be really big. Now, I'm going to come all the way up here to the same height as where the truck is. Now, what I have to do is use this world 
edit command. I do slash slash outline and then red concrete and boom. Look at this, guys. We have a massive red thing on the back of the truck. This is where all of the prime is going to be stored. But first of all, we don't even know that it's a prime truck because it doesn't say prime on it. So I'm going to go ahead and write prime in big letters. Let me just build this up right now. I'm going to put a big P on it. Ew, wait, did you just say you're going to pee on your truck? What? No! Pip, when did I say I was going to pee on my truck? You said you were going to put a big P on it. What? No, Pip, I didn't mean it like that. I meant that I'm going to write the letters for Prime on it, which starts with a P. Oh, I guess that makes sense, Bluey. Let me guess. The next letter is going to be O. You don't spell Prime with a P and an O. You spell Prime with a P and then an R. So we are going to actually put a big R on it. Oh, so it's not spelled P-O-O-P. -O -O -P. Wait a second. Did you think the word Prime was spelled P-O-O-P? -O -O -P? That spells poop. Oh, yeah. Is that not how you spell no, Pip, that is not how you spell prime. To spell prime, you spell it P-R-I-M-E. Oh, Louie, I didn't know I would have to be a genius at spelling. What? No, you don't have to be a genius, Pip. It's a very easy word to spell. Guys, I don't think I know how to spell prime, but if you know how to spell prime, go ahead and tell me in the comments because oh, I really need some help. Yeah, Pip, if you don't know how to spell prime, how are you going to put it on your prime truck? Which looks a little weird right now. Maybe I can just spell poop instead. Uh, well, I guess you could, Pip, but then Mikey would not want to stay inside of your prime build. Oh, yes, he would, Louie. He would love my poop truck. This just shows that you don't know Mikey at all. What? Of course I know Mikey. Mikey loves dirt, and uh, I don't know really what else. He is a turtle, but I know for a fact he doesn't like poop. Well, yes, he does, Louie, and I'll prove it to you. All right, buddy, go ahead. But anyways, guys, I don't have time to spare. I need to make this say prime. So I'm going to put a big chunky eye on it right now. Here we go. Let's just go ahead and keep building down. This is going to be the biggest eye in Minecraft. All right, now let's just add some white around it. Just like this. This is looking pretty good so far, guys. What do you think? And if you like my prime truck so far, then make sure to like the video because we are trying to hit 2,000 likes on this video. Never get to 2,000 likes. What? Oh, yes, I will, Pip. Just you wait and see. Everybody is going to like this video. What, Louie? We've never hit 2,000 likes on one of my videos. Oh, I know we haven't, Pip, but and maybe today is the day, buddy. Whoa, 2,000 likes. That is my dream. I know it is, Pip, and we are going to get it for you right after I finish building my prime truck. And it's going to be so cool! Oh, Louie, I'll tell you this again. Your prime truck is just not good at all. <laughs> yes, it is. Everybody thinks so. If you guys think his prime truck is awful, go ahead and leave it in the comments because even though he's further along in his build, my truck just looks way better. I'm telling you, Pip, everybody is going to say my truck is way better. And they're going to say yours is trash. Oh, no. That is not happening on my channel. Oh, really, Pip? Well, it seems like your truck doesn't say anything. This could be any kind of truck. It could be a Fanta truck, or it could be a P truck, or maybe just a Pip truck. No, Louie, I'll add the letters right now. All right, you go ahead and do that, buddy. But I am very confused on what this build is so far. Louie, I'm adding Prime 
on it right now. Just keep building your little truck over there. All right then, buddy, I will. Now that I've got Prime written on the front of my truck, I guess I can start working on some really cool details for JJ. Like, maybe I'll put his face on the truck. All right, so what I'm going to do is go and put JJ's head on the side of it. So let's get some blocks. I'll get some white terracotta to work looking like his skin. Then I'll get some light blue concrete. And that will be for his eyes. Next, I need some white concrete too for the white in his eyes. And finally, some brown. There we go. Now let's build JJ's face on this truck. So I'll put it, let's say, right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this can be his face. Now I just need to build it. So let's see here. It goes two and then his eyes. So I'll build it two up like this. Then I'll add his hair. And then I'll add his eyes. Just like this. This is coming along nicely. This is the bottom half of JJ's face. But now I need to do his hair. He has a little fringe. And I can do that very easily. I just need to do like this. And boom! That is JJ's hairstyle. I just need to build it up now. So I'll do three blocks up like this. And boom! We just built JJ's face. And that is on my prime truck. Awesome. JJ is going to love this. Oh, and Mikey is going to love my prime truck. Just look. I put all of the letters. All right, Pip. Give me a second. I'm filling out a black outline around JJ's face. And done. All right. Let's see what you were talking about. And uh, Pip, what is this? Oh, it's just my letters. I'm filling in the white right now. Um, Pip, that does not say prime. That says her. Yeah, Louie, isn't that the drink that Logan Paul and KSI made? No, Pip, look at my truck. It literally says Prime. That is how it's spelled. Oh, well, it's too late to change it now, Louie. We only have a few minutes. Oh, my gosh. You know what? Let me help you out. Maybe we can build it a little faster before those hoglins come and eat Mikey alive because your Prime truck is trash. It's not trash, Louie. It's what's on the inside that counts, not the outside. I don't know, buddy. This prime truck looks really bad. And I'm pretty sure those hoglins are going to definitely break straight in. All right, but now the outside of my prime truck is built. It's time to start working on the inside. This should be very easy. I'll just go on the inside and... Whoa, there's a lot of space in here. Maybe I built this a little too big, but it should be fine. I'll just add a second floor to this thing instead. Louie, are you working on an entrance to your prime truck already? Pip, why are you doing that voice? What are you trying to do? Oh, I was just doing my Milo impression. Oh, that sounded pretty good, Pip, but I think I could do better. Listen to mine. <laughs> uh, Pip, what are you doing, Pip? That doesn't sound like me at all. Pip, yes, it does. It sounds exactly like Milo. I can do a really good chip impression. Oh, yeah, Louie. Go ahead and show me then. All right, Pip. Are you ready for my impression? Here it goes. All right, Pip. I'm going to put some crazy things inside of my base. And then I'm going to put some buck shelves and then some beds. <laughs> Louie, why do you sound like British or Australian? That's because Milo and Chip are Australian. Did you know that, Pip? So does that mean they're upside down? Yes, Pip. It means they live in the upside down land. That is exactly right. Oh, but what are you building now, Louie? Well, Pip, if you didn't already know, this is the entrance to my prime truck build. And all you've got to do is climb up through these ladders and it will take you inside. I think this bottom floor should be some traps to stop some mobs from getting through, especially those mutant hoglins. Oh, yeah, Louie. We can't have any hoglins in our prime trucks. Yeah, you you're right. Well, how about this, Pip? Uh, can you help me with some traps just so that those hoglins don't beat me up? Of course, Louie. I don't want those hoglins to beat up my best friend. All right, let's build some traps then. As we know, the mutant hoglins will be coming from this area over here. But what should we do to stop them as soon as they climb in? Oh, well, we can always put lasers. Wait, lasers are a pretty good idea. I'll put these redstone fans right in front of the ladders and then... Then I'll go ahead and connect them all up to a lever. Which means if those mutant hoglins climb up, they'll get blown off the ladder and have to try again. 
Louie, this is really good, but how are we supposed to make it up this ladder? Well, I'm glad you asked, Pip. Look, if I sneak up these ladders just to the perfect spot, I can turn off the vans and get inside. Whoa, Louie, that's super cool. And if I flick the lever here, I fly away. Yep, it's a perfect idea, Pip. But what I'm going to do is put some of these spruce planks just like this. So we can have a door on either side of the fans. I think we should do... What should we do, Louie? We should make a real entrance and a fake entrance. So those mutant hoglins will climb in and not know where to go. Oh, yeah. Which side should be the real side and which side should be the fake side? Well, I think the left side should be the real side because L stands for Louie. This way, we'll just take you straight into the build and you will not get hurt by anything. Whereas if you go on the opposite side, I'll make it so it has some ghost blocks in the floor so the hoglins fall through and die. But shouldn't the right side be the right side and the left side be the loser side? Well, Pip, that's the thing. This is reverse psychology, which makes basically means they'll think the right side is the right side, and it will kill them. Oh, I never thought about that, Louie, but I can't wait to watch all these hoglins just fall in this hole. Yep, me neither, buddy. But just in case, I'm going to go down here and put a ton of spikes just in case, so they die no matter what. Oh, yeah. Let me test this real quick. Come on, get in the spikes, you oh, little wait. villager. Pip, what are you doing, Pip? Oh, no. Oh, phew. That villager didn't die. I thought he was done for. Oh, why didn't he die? We need to make this trap better. Don't worry, Pip. We don't have to make this trap better yet because we are going to add way more traps all the way down this hallway. There is no way those hoglins won't be dead by the time they get to the end. Oh, yeah. We should totally add lasers and dispensers throughout this whole truck. Oh, yeah. Good idea, buddy. How about we add some lasers right now? I'll go ahead and get some white wool and place it in a big, long line. Now, I'll get some redstone and place it on the top here. This is cool and all, Louie, but these aren't lasers. This is wool. Oh, don't worry, Pip. I'll place the lasers down now. Look, all I need to do is place one, and then I'll put all the upgrades inside. I'll be setting it to power mode, which makes them extremely strong. Now, I just have to place all these lasers along this wall. Perfect! Our laser trap is complete. What do you mean the laser trap is complete, Louie? These lasers don't even work. Well, Pip, it might not seem so, but watch this. If I get this thing called a redstone link and I put a laser inside of it, I should be able to flick it on and make the laser trap work. Watch, I'll put the spruce plank right here, a redstone link with a laser inside, and now when I switch it on... It's like wireless redstone. Ow, ow, ow. It does a ton of damage, buddy. Oh, be careful where you're aiming that thing. All right, Pip, I will. But you should probably be careful. And you know why? Oh, why, Louie? Why do I need to be careful? Because we can do things like this. Look, do you know what this block does? It's a TV. No, Pip, this is no TV. This is actually a mirror. Huh? Come over here and switch the lasers on and watch what happens. A mirror? I don't see a handsome duck in there. No, Pip, this is a different type of mirror. This doesn't show your reflection. It just reflects lasers off of it. Oh, that sounds so cool. Let's see it. And boom! As you can see, one of the lasers deflected off of this mirror and went all the way over here. Oh, my gosh. So even if those zombies zombies are super smart, they can still die to the lasers. All we have to do, Pip, is just put a bunch of mirrors just like that. So all of the lasers go down that hallway. Let me just show you. I'll place one right here. And then I'll place one right next to it. And as you can see, that entire hallway is filled with lasers. So when we get to this point, all we have to do is flick on the lever. And boom, everything dies and nothing can get in. Oh, yeah, Louie, the more lasers, the better. Yep, that is our motto, Pip. But here we go. Now we have this laser trap. What else should we put in? We have a ton of space after. Oh, why don't we do a maze? I love mazes. 
Oh no, a maze? That would get a little too confusing. I'm really bad at those. If you don't want to do a maze, how about we do some parkour instead? Maybe some lava parkour. That's a good idea, buddy. Let's go ahead and put down two layers of red like this. Now, let's fill it all up with lava, and this will be what kills those hoglins. Unless they can do the parkour right. Well, hoglins can't jump, can they, Louis? I don't think they can, Pip, which is what makes this trap so good. Yeah, Louie, this lava pool is going to be so insane. But wait a second, how are we supposed to get across? Oh, that's a good point, buddy. You know what? We actually need to start adding the parkour. So I'll make a few jumps like this, and I'll make one that goes all the way over here. There is no way a hoglin can make this three-block jump. And now, since mutant hoglins are really big, I'm going to make them do really precise parkour. As you can see, we'll make them go across this tightrope. And since they're so big, they won't be able to fit on it. And it will hurt their feet, meaning they will probably fail the parkour. It will be so funny to see those hoglins burn in the parkour. Yeah, Pip, it will be so funny. But here we go. We've got all of those traps before, and we've got this really precise little tightrope. This is difficult, but we have space for one last trap. What do you think we should put here? Oh my goodness, Louie. Um, why don't we put some dispensers with fire charges? Good idea, buddy! Let's get some of those. So I'll get some dispensers into my inventory and some fire charges. This will be the last layer of defense to stop those hoglins. If this doesn't work, I don't know what will. <laughs> Fire charges are going to destroy those hoglins. Yeah, I really hope so, Pip. What I'm going to do is just fill up all of these dispensers with the fire charges and now connect them all up with redstone dust. Now, we can make a little staircase that we can jump over. And then finally, we can have a platform over here that we can control the fire charges with. We can blast those hoglins dead. Oh, yeah. These hoglins are going to have to be super genius and super OP if they want to get past all four of our traps. Yeah, but I don't think they will be. But now that we've done all of the traps, we can go ahead and build up into the next room just up there. Perfect! Let's just make a hole in the roof and get us up here. And this is where all of my prime truck's house is going to be. Oh my gosh, this truck is massive! Yep, Wait a second, Pip, don't you have a truck that you need to be building? Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I do. Oh, my gosh, I completely forgot. How do you forget to build a truck, Pip? It's right there. And wait, Mike is watching you. It seems like he realized you haven't been building. Oh, I'll, I'll get building right now, Louie. Just let me concentrate. All right, I'll get back into my prime truck now. You go ahead and build something, Pip. I'm going to relax and have a nice drink of Prime. All right, and my staircase is complete, guys. This is how my Prime truck is coming along. It's still empty inside, so I'll have to add a few rooms. But I've been working on the front of my truck. Just look at this. I added a bunch of windows all together. And now I can see the whole world, for which I'm going to deliver tons of Prime with my Prime truck. But I really think I need to start working on this inside. This inside is huge and I have nothing. Well, let's go ahead and first start off with a bedroom. So let's just add a bedroom to the side. This will be Mikey's bedroom. Mikey has amazing bedrooms, so I need to make a crazy good one. Let's just get a lime bed out of my creative inventory. Because if you didn't know, lime or green is Mikey's favorite colors. And then, of course, we can't forget about Mikey's computer setup because Mikey plays Minecraft all day. If he didn't play Minecraft, I'm not sure what he would be doing. Let's just put the computer right there. And now Mikey's PC setup is complete. Mikey loves watching TV when he tries falling asleep. So let's go ahead and expand his room just a bit more so we can add a TV in front of the bed. And there's not too 
too much room right here. So we sadly can't add a massive TV, but we'll add a massive TV in our living room. So let's uh, go ahead and put down this TV right here so Mikey can watch something while he's falling asleep. And maybe he likes to watch Pip and Louie on YouTube while trying to fall asleep. But... All right, guys. So now I've built all of those traps. It's time to start on the inside of my prime build. So I'm going to make it look really cool like a really awesome modern house. So I'll be using some of these strip oak logs just like this to add a really cool archway over the top. But now I'm going to add some red over the top of it like this. So it looks like a wall that connects up to the room. Perfect. This is just what I need. And there we go. I have a nice dividing wall between our base. Now let's go ahead and build a few of those. So I'm going to use world edit like this. And all I have to do is go back here. Slash slash copy. Now I can walk through my prime base and add different rooms. Just like this. I'll do maybe three or four. I'll have the room right at the back over here be JJ's room. Maybe this one will be the kitchen. And oh my gosh, I have so many ideas. I just need to start building. So let's do that. I'll grab some slabs like this and also some of these lily pad slabs. These are really cool for making really epic looking archways. Just watch this, guys. I'm going to add these stripped oak logs like this, then some birch slabs, and then some of these lily slabs. And now it makes a really cool looking arch. I'll do a few of those now. So I'll go like this, birch slabs, put down the birch slabs, and a lily pad slab. And whoa, guys, now we have all of these archways. I think it's time to start building the inside of this prime truck. So this first room definitely has to be something big, like maybe a gaming room with two floors. That would look really epic. So what I'll do is get these lily slabs and just connect them all up like this. This way, it'll look like a nice thin floor at the top and it won't take up too much space. This will allow me to put way more things underneath and also make it feel like JJ isn't going to jump and hit his head. All right, now all I need to do is add a staircase going up to the top floor. But before I do that, I'll get some black stained glass and I'll put it around the front like this, just so that JJ doesn't fall off the roof. And then finally, I'll just add a staircase coming down from that. That should be easy. Just like this, I'll add it in. And boom! We have a staircase coming across half of the room, but it doesn't matter, guys. I think this looks pretty cool. I think I'll go ahead and get the stripped oak logs and just make it cover up half of that, just so that nobody tries to walk into the stairs and hits their face. Now I'll just add some stairs here for decoration with some slabs just like that. Awesome. We are ready to build this gaming room now. So what I'll do is I'll get this red concrete and just put it in the way of the staircase just so that we have a wall we can walk up next to. Then I'll make sure this red concrete fully covers the stairs. This way I don't get confused and end up walking under the stairs. All right, there we go. Now it's time to add something in here. And I know just what. If it's a gaming room, we need some Nintendo Switches. So let's go ahead and grab a TV. And let's also get this white TV rack. Let's put them right here and then turn the TV on. Finally, let's get some of these lily slabs and put them over like this. This makes it look like there's an awesome looking table. But I'll put some spruce stairs like this. That looks a lot better. All right. And now I just need some red sofas. And this will give me a lot of space to have JJ inside. But no, it won't be fun without having Pip or Mikey in here. So let me go ahead and add a sofa for them as well. I'll add one for Pip right here. And then I'll add a nice lime sofa for Mikey. And that can go right in the middle here. That looks pretty good. And now all I have to do is put the Nintendo Switches down. And I'll put four of them like this. So me, Mikey, JJ, and Pip can all play Super Dog Bros. It's Pip's favorite game. And I also made sure to put the Nintendo Switches with Mikey. Mikey and JJ's colors on them. Red and green. This is amazing. But there we go. We have this TV in place. But now I need all of our PC setups so we can all play Minecraft together. So what I'll do is get
get some spruce stairs once again, and then I'll use these birch slabs, and then finally the lily slabs to make this round looking table. This will be where Mikey and JJ have their PC setups and can play Minecraft. So I'll get some seats just for them. I'll get a red seat and a lime green seat and put them right next to each other. Next, I'm going to need their PCs. So I'll just get some very basic ones. There we go. That's for Mikey and JJ. And then let's give them a PC tower each. Now let's put their favorite things on both sides of this room. So what I'll do is put some books just here for JJ because I know he loves to read books. I'll put them just like that, splitting up their PCs. Now I need to give Mikey something and I know exactly what. I'll give him some popcorn so he can eat everything he wants to whilst he's gaming. Awesome. I'll also add some lily slabs like this and some plushies. I'll make sure to add these cute green creeper plushies because Mikey is green and will love them. All right, we have the downstairs built, but now it's time for the upstairs. And this is where me and Pip's PC setup is going to be. So I'll go ahead and do it right now. I'll do it quite similarly to how I did Mikey and JJ's with this big table. But this time, I'll be getting a yellow seat and a red seat for me and Pip. Boom, just like that, we have yellow and red seats for me and Pip to sit on. Now, let's give each other a PC. And I'm definitely going to want me and Pip to have cool PCs. So I'm going to give us these rainbow flashing PCs. That's so cool. And finally, I'm going to give myself some big PC speakers. This is so that I'll be able to hear all of the mobs around me in Minecraft because me and Pip are always fighting off mobs all the time and building crazy bases just like this one. So if you guys want to see more of us building these massive trucks and builds, then make sure to subscribe to the channel. But anyways, I need to build Pip's side of the PC setup, and that's easy. Pip loves dirt, so I'll just put dirt everywhere on his side. There we go. That should do just fine. But there we are, guys. I've built this massive gaming room. That looks super awesome. But now I'm moving on to this even bigger room in the middle. What should I put here? Wait, I just had a genius idea. What if I put an awesome swimming pool, but I make it out of glass on the roof? You know what? I'll do that right now. I'll get some light blue stained glass and I'll go all the way up here and make a nice little pool shape. So I'll build out of this blue stained glass just like this and I'll have it curve up towards the ceiling. Boom, boom, boom. This should be deep enough of a pool. After all, if Pip wants to come to swim, he needs to have a nice shallow pool because he can't swim. But here we go. Let's just set the inside of the pool to water. Now we have this massive floating swimming pool. I'll just make a way to climb up to the top so that we can go swimming. I'll grab some ladders like this and place them going up. Now we can go swimming whenever we feel like it. It's going to be so fun. I think to make it even more fun though, I'm going to add these diving boards so me and Pip can have a diving competition. All right, but what do I put down here? Maybe I should put some diving suits. This way, me and Pip can have a scuba diving experience. All right, that's a good idea. Let me just grab some chests and some armor stands, and I'll put them going all the way along this wall, just like this. Now, all I have to do is search for a diving helmet and diving boots. And boom! Now, watch this, guys. I can put a diving helmet and this scuba armor on all of the armor stands. Awesome. I'll put on all of the leggings and chest plates first. Then I'll put on the boots to all of them. And then finally, I'll put on all of these diving helmets. Whoa. You know what, though? I think I could probably scare Pip with this. Look at this, guys. You can't even tell who I am. Maybe I should act like a really scary diver and sneak into Pip's side of the base and scare him. So let's get over there right now. I've even got this little air tank on the back that makes me look like a scary diver. Now I just go over to Pip's side and scare him. So let me sneak over there and see what he's up to. All right, here we go. Where can I come from? Maybe I'll go in from here. This looks like the entrance to his base. Let's just sneak inside and whoa, wait, his base is all the way down here. All right, I'm going in. It seems like he's working 
working down there, though. So I'll just break in through the floor over here and sneak in through the back. All right, I'm ready to scare him whenever he comes around this corner. Oh my gosh, my farm is looking so good. But all this farming makes me really want to go to the bathroom. Wait a second. Guys, Pip is coming to the bathroom. But while he's not looking, I'm going to sneak on into the bathroom and scare him when he turns the corner. Let's just wait here. Time to use the bathroom in my amazing bathroom, guys. Do you not see this? Look, upstairs, I have two showers for when I want to shower. Downstairs is where I use the bathroom. So let's just go in here and use the bathroom. All right, guys. Look, he's taking taking a poop and oogly boogly! Ah! Oh, ew! Oh, oh, you? oh, 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 no. you? oh, 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 ew, poo, 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 Pip, stop throwing poop at me! How do you know my name? <sighs> Pip, it's because it's me, Louie. Gosh, you stole Louie's body! What? No, I didn't! Oh, Pip, I took it all off now. It's me! It's been me the whole time! I just wanted to scare you. Hey, did you finally want to join me in the bathroom? Um, no. You know what, Pip? I'm out of here. You threw a lot of poop at me, and that was not very cool. Oh, come on, Louie. We can go upstairs together. Upstairs? You have a two-story bathroom? Yeah, Louie. Wait a second. This is actually one of the best bathrooms I think I've ever seen you build. Look, at least I have a corner so we could technically shower together and I wouldn't have to worry. Yeah, Louie. Just stay there. Turn around. What do you mean, turn around? Oh! Hey! Wait. Hey! Oh, your face popped out of there. That was scary. <laughs> Pip, how about oh. you go to the shower and I'll show you how it feels. All right, Louie. Come join me. All right, Pip. Just take a look at the wall. And... All right. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. The ghost of Louie. <laughs> that is actually kind of funny, though, Pip. Oh. I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to. I mean, you did it to me first. Come on. Mine was funny. Yours was scary. Oh, I guess so. But that's what I came here to do. Scare you to death. Woo! You didn't scare me to death. You just scared me to poop. Guys, <laughs> Louie is so weird, but I really need to start working on my traps upstairs. I have this whole room up here that I want to fill with traps, and they're going to be way better than good for nothing Louie's traps. So the hard ones are going to enter my prime truck through here, and they're going to climb up this ladder like so, and I think as soon as they get off the ladder, I want them to get shot by arrows. So let's go ahead and get some dispensers to shoot the arrows out of. And we'll also need some trip wires and string. So the hoglins step on the trip wire and then get shot. Let's just set him up right here and put string all the way to the other trip wire. And then this trip wire will activate a dispenser like so. And now we just fill up the dispenser with arrows. And now Watch this! Boom! And let's just go to survival mode to see how much damage it does. And whoa! It does like two or three hearts. So that should get the hoglins super low. All right, guys. I just got back to my side. And as you can see, I added this swimming pool and all this diving gear. But now I need to add something here. And since this room is a lot smaller, I think I'll go ahead and add a kitchen. So I'll get some some really nice colored kitchen cabinets. And I'll make sure that they are red because JJ needs to love this. All right, I have these kitchen counters in now, but I don't know, something's missing, guys. It just looks wrong. Wait, I know why. I need a sink. It looks really strange without having a sink on it. I'll put two sinks on either side so all four of us can wash our hair. But now, this kitchen's still looking bland. So I'm going to add a refrigerator. And as you can see, this is a nice refrigerator right here. I'll put it right in the corner there. And you know what? I'll do the same on the other side. This means I have lots of space to store 
a lot more food. And finally, no kitchen is complete without an oven. So let's get some of these cool modern black ovens and place them in. Whoa, this kitchen's looking cool. But something's missing and I'm not exactly sure what yet. Uh, wait, I've got it. It's the kitchen tiles. If there's no kitchen tiles in this thing, it just doesn't look right. So let's go ahead and add a bunch of kitchen tiles to the bottom of the floor. And boom. I think this will start to look really, really cool. Like an actual kitchen now. Yeah, I'm definitely right. But finally, I'm going to get some white concrete and place it in the middle. This will be the dining table that me, Mikey, JJ, and Pip can sit at. And that means we can all eat our food together in peace. I'll put two seats on either side so Mikey and Pip can sit next to each other and me and JJ can sit next to each other. And then finally, I'll just give us all some plates so we can eat. But guys, I cannot be forgetting. I need to add some food on the table. So let me go ahead and add some cakes in the middle and that will be for dessert. And now I need some healthy food we can all eat. So let's take a look in my creative inventory. Hmm. Look guys, there's all sorts of cool things. There's coffee, lemonade, there's donuts here. I'm going to get some of those. It also seems like there's peanut butter. I love that. Let's see what else there is. Hmm. I don't know about all of this kind of stuff. Maybe I'll get some chocolate milkshakes for us all. And then I'll get some apple pies too, because I love those. All right, let's put them all down on the table. And boom, we have this awesome dinner table with a bunch of food on it. I'm so excited to eat all of this. But finally, all I need is some lighting in the kitchen. So I'll get a bunch of glowstone like this and place it all in. Awesome. <laughs> Sure what Louie is up to in his prime truck, but I know my prime truck is fantastic. I've already got three traps, and what could the traps I just added, guys? I added a trap to really slow you down with cobwebs and soul sand, and then once you finally get out, you're going to be burnt by lasers. But those hoglins can somehow manage to get past all of those traps. I think I should add at least one more trap. I think I'm going to add a maze of spikes. Let's go ahead and put down a bunch of spikes all around. And you guys might be wondering, Pip, if you're just putting down a bunch of spikes, how are you going to get across? Well, guys, I'll tell you right now. Using the ghost blocks, I can actually make invisible spikes. So if you see right here, I can put a ghost block next to a spike and it makes it a darker spike. See how this spike is a little bit darker than that spike? That means that this is a fake spike. And if I go into survival mode, look, I don't take any damage. But if I go into this spike, ow, ow, I take a lot of damage. Oh, these traps are so OP and probably way better than whatever Louie's building over there. Anyways, guys, what I'm going to build over here is a room for JJ. So what I'm going to start off by doing is adding a ton of these spruce oak planks just going up like this. This will work as a really cool little wall. I'm going to get all of this wall here and I'm going to break it so I can see down into the kitchen. This should look pretty cool when it's done. So I'll just build something like this with a big wall in the way. This should allow me to be able to see down into the kitchen and not above the lights. All right, there we go. Now I can see down there into the kitchen. And what I'm going to do is get some red stained glass and I'm going to cover up this wall. So now we have a big window of glass we can see through. All right, awesome. Now what I'm going to do is get some of those lily slabs. But this time I'm going to use some of these little spruce wood looking ones and I'm going to place them all along the roof. So I have a nice thin floor on the top here. This means JJ's room can have two stories in it, which means it's going to be crazy. So here we go. We now have a roof. We just need a little door going into the main bedroom. So I'll put one like that. And you know what? I think I'm going to use these tall doors. So look at this, guys. We now have a really big door at the end of this hallway. That is where JJ will live. But 
What I want now is a way to get upstairs. So I think I'll use these lily slabs to be able to make a staircase up like this. That looks really cool. I think I'll just add some spruce planks on the wall so it looks like it's being held up. That should be pretty cool. There we go. Now I can climb up to the top floor and do what I want. Oh, Lily, what are you up to, buddy? Wait, what? Pip, why did you just break through my wall? Oh, I didn't break through any wall. What makes you think that? Um, the fact that I saw you break it and then put it back. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Pip, what are you here to do? I'm here to see you. How's it going? Oh, well, it's going pretty cool. I'm building JJ's room right now. And as you can see, buddy, I have all of this built so far. I have a top floor and then a bottom floor. Wait, JJ's room has... Two floors? Yeah, of course it does. He is a VIP after all. Oh my gosh, can I help you build this bottom floor? All right, I guess you can, Pip. Look, this bottom floor down here, let's just make this Mikey's room instead because Mikey might be staying here too. I don't think Mikey is going to come on your truck anytime soon since my truck is super secure. Oh, trust me, Pip. Mikey definitely will come to my truck. Just you wait and see. Anyways, you build Mikey's room down here. I'm going to build JJ's room right now. All right, Louie. Well, let me just get the bed. All right, buddy. You do that, and I'm going to start working on a nice little room for JJ. So what I'm doing here is adding some beds next to these lily slabs. This will allow me to make a nice little bedside table, just in case JJ wants to put something there. All right. Now, I can get some of these woven red slabs, and this will allow me to make the bed a lot bigger. This looks so cool. There's no way JJ's falling off that oh, bed. Not too much space down here. Well, either way, Mikey's bedroom is going to be way better than whatever Louie's doing up there. Like, what is this? Pip, what are you doing? Get down! Get, <laughs> get down! Get down! Let's go ahead and just add the bed right here. And Mikey loves a chest next to his bed. Let's just add that right here. And then, like we did in my prime truck, we need to add a PC setup so Mikey can play Minecraft on whichever prime truck he's on. So let's just add it right here in the corner and make sure Mikey has the best chair possible because Mikey doesn't like to sit in bad chairs. He likes to sit in super cool gaming chairs. All right, guys. What I'm going to do with JJ's bedroom right now is I'm going to add a TV because I'm pretty sure JJ would love to sit and watch TV while he sleeps. Look, I have this awesome bed and I can see the TV from here. It's really cool. But I'm going to put some of these red slabs on the top just to give it a little bit more detail. Whoa, this is cool. But JJ will be able to get into his bed around this staircase here. So to fill up this gap, I'm going to add a dividing wall just like that. This means JJ will technically technically have two rooms inside of his bedroom. He can watch TV in here, and then he can do something else out here, but I'm not sure what yet. But there's still way more than I can add here. How about I add a TV in the corner so Mikey can play video games or watch TV whenever he wants without leaving his bedroom? So let's go ahead and just add a couch because Mikey doesn't like basic chairs like this chair right here. He loves sleeping on the whole couch while watching some TV or playing his favorite game. And my favorite game, Super wow. Duck Bros. Oh, this is going to be such a fun time for him. And this looks really good, but there's still so much red in Mikey's room. Mikey and I don't like the color red. So how about we do a little remodeling? How about we just change this red concrete to yellow and hopefully Louie won't notice? I mean, yellow is a way better color than red, so I don't think he'll mind. Uh, we'll probably add some paintings as well because oh, I don't like just having a wall in my room. I want it to be super cool, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's put some paintings down right here as well as some yellow carpets to make this room look even better. It's going to be a mix of yellow 
yellow and green. Well, I hope Louie likes the yellow carpet, even though he usually wants me to do just green carpet. All right, guys, I just figured out what I want to build up here. I'm going to make this into a nice reading room. So I'll just get some bookshelves like this and put them around this chair. And it's so cute. Now, all I have to do is add a little tiny table in the middle. This way, I can put a book down and read it. Oh, JJ is going to love this. I'll also add some of these lily slabs around as well, just so that he can put his legs underneath them and probably have more books on the side in case he wants to read more. So I'll give him some ideas just in case he needs to. I'll put some item frames down with some books inside. Now JJ can read three books on the go. This looks really cool. All right, that is my reading room completed. I think I should be all done with this room now. Oh, Pip! Are you finished with your bedroom? Oh, yeah, Louie. I was just finishing it up. Uh, do you want to come on down and see? Yep, I'm coming down to take a look and... Wait, Pip, this is a lot of... Oh, yeah, Louie. Isn't that Mikey's favorite color? Wait a second, Pip. This isn't Mikey's favorite color. This is your favorite color. I don't know what you're talking about, Louie. What makes you think that? Well, because you're yellow and you're trying to sneak away. Oh, I mean, Louie, look, there is some green in the room. Well, yeah, I guess so, Pip. It looks pretty good, but I think you should change it all to green. Mikey would probably want it to be green, buddy. Oh, come on, Louie. I have to put some yellow in the room. After all, I made the room for him. You know what? I have a better idea, though. Maybe all the yellow concrete you put, you should replace back to red. Because it's making my prime truck look like a pea truck. <laughs> Mikey doesn't like red either. Well, it doesn't matter, Pip. You put a bunch of green in here, so Mikey probably will like it. But you can't be putting your bedroom in here. So I'm going to change it back to red. Oh, Louie, I just wish you would use yellow more. Oh, don't worry, Pip. I will. Look, I have this yellow guitar. If you want to try it. Oh, of course, Louie. Let's see this. You go ahead and play the guitar, and I'll go ahead and play this harp. Why is the backwards alphabet on the left? Oh, don't worry, Pip. That is just the key you're playing it in. So if you look up and down, you can change the pitch. Whoa, Louie. I'm jamming out right now. You know what? Let's make a song together, Pip. Here we go. And boop, boop, boop. I don't think this is very good. Maybe I should add a drum beat to make it better. All right, Louie, let's hear it. Let me drop a beat, Pip. Pip and Louie. Hey, Pip and Louie. Yeah, hey. this is so cool. But, uh, Pip, I'm pretty sure we've been playing these instruments for a while. What if the mobs are here? We need to go ahead and add some armor to this thing. Oh, Louie, it will be fine. I think we still have plenty of time left. Um, are you sure? Oh, well, maybe we should look outside and, um... Pip, we've been building for a little too long. It's turned to night. We need to get armor right now before the mobs come. Where did the sun go and why is the moon right there? I don't know, buddy, but get inside. We need to hurry up right now. All right, we don't have enough space to make an armory, so I guess this room will have to do. Come on, let's put some armor in right now. I'm going to use this lightning dragon steel armor just like this. It's really, really strong. Strong. Now, what I'm going to do is grab some chests, and I'm going to put these lightning dragon steel swords inside. They're super strong. And then finally, I'll just put some golden apples. Hurry, Pip! Put some armor in! All right, fine. I'll just put the best armor in the game. Oh, what is that going to be? Well, the armor is the same color as me. Wait a second. That's not good. Wait, Pip! Oh, golden armor. That's trash. No, it's not, Louie. Gold is amazing. Uh, I don't know about that, buddy. But you know what? We have no time to change it. Come on, put down some weapons in there. And some food that you'll need for the fight. All right, Louie. Let me just get a golden sword, a bow, and some arrows. All right, good idea, Pip. That should do... Uh, okay. You know what? I'm going to give you some of my enchanted golden apples, though. Here you go, buddy. Thank you, Louie. But... I 
think we're ready for the fight now. Oh, yeah, but, but wait a second. We're in Mikey and JJ's bedrooms, but where are Mikey and JJ? Uh-oh, <gasps> I need to move JJ into my prime truck right now. Oh, yeah, and I need to move Mikey into mine. All right, let's go ahead and do it right now, Pip. I'm going to get JJ inside. Come on, Mikey. We need to make sure you're safe. All right, so JJ's now inside of his room. What about you, Pip? And oh, no. No, 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 no. Pip, this is really bad. Look outside. What's so bad, Louie? Mikey is in his bedroom safe and sound. Oh, there's a ton of mutant Hawklins out here. It's time to fight. Are we already in... Oh, oh my gosh. There's so many. All right, hurry up, Pip. Get all of your armor on. We need to fight these things. All right, Louie. I'm getting my armor on right now. All right, I'm running through the back of my truck right now. I need to get outside and fight some of those mobs. We cannot have them getting through. Yeah, Louie, you're right. Let's kill these hoglins. All right, Pip. I'm here. And whoa, whoa, they're already on me. Run! Oh, my gosh, Louie. They're tearing up my truck. This is so scary. It's right in front of me, Pip. This is really, really scary. There's so many. Oh, my gosh. How are we going to kill all of these hoglins? Oh, I don't know, Pip. It's going to take a dream to be able to stop them. Oh, no, no, no. There's so many over there, too. Oh, I really hope we can kill them. We need to deliver all of this prime. Yeah, good point. And wait a second. Pip, they're tearing up the truck. You're right. Oh, yeah. JJ's bedrooms are. Yeah, it's a good thing we put our bedrooms at the top of these bases. But wait, it seems like we're starting to beat these mobs right now. Oh, that's super good. Let me get out of this truck and start beating them up with my sword. All right, Pip. I think we're okay, actually. There's only a few over there, so we shouldn't have to worry too much. Take this, Hoglin! And wait, I'm taking damage from behind and... Whoa! Pip, there's some behind us, too! Oh, my gosh. There's still so many. Oh, I'm trying my best, Pip, but this battle is getting really intense. But look, Louie, we're halfway through the night, and there's more of them. Oh, no! They've ripped up my base. Look at that! Oh, no, Louie, how are they doing this? I don't know, buddy. It seems like JJ would be dead if he was down here right now with no base. Come on, Hoglins. You are not getting to Mikey and JJ. Yeah, get out of here, you stinky piggies! Oh, yeah, I don't like pigs anyways. Yeah, just like Pip's mom. What? Wait, my mom isn't a pig, she's a duck! Oh, yeah, good point. I forgot about that, buddy. But don't worry, we almost killed all of these mutant hoglins. We have only a few left! But look, Louie, the sun's coming back! Oh, we almost got through the night, Pip. We only have a few more of these hoglins to defeat until we are victorious. Yeah, Louie, we have to get that victory royale. Yeah, and then the sun will come up and we will be safe. All right, there's only a few left and oh my gosh, that guy's actually really scary. What's he going to do? Whoa, he's running, Ow! Pip. Oh, come beat on. it up. Die. Oh, uh, yeah, come on. I hope Mikey and JJ are safe in their bedroom. They're going to be okay, Pip. But look, but there's only one more Hoglin left. We just have to defeat it. Beat it up, Pip. I choose you. Yeah, I'm shooting it. Get away from me, you little stinking Hoglin. You seem to be doing quite well shooting it, but maybe you should try attacking it with your sword. <gasps> we killed it, and they dropped so much raw pork chops. Woohoo! We never have to worry about going hungry again. And Wait a second. I think Mikey and JJ are safe. And look, Louie, we're back in creative mode. Oh, let's go check up on Mikey and JJ. All right. First on the list is Mikey. Let's see if he's okay. And wait, and look. He is a-okay. Perfect. But what about JJ? My prime truck got absolutely roughed up. But there's lava falling out of it. Come on. I really hope he's okay. Let's go in through this wall and up the stairs and wait, JJ safe! Oh my gosh, he didn't even take a scratch. Perfect. It seems like we managed to save Mikey and JJ from the muted Hoglin army. Oh yeah, Louie. 
I call this a victory royale. But if you guys enjoyed that video, make sure to like, subscribe, and click the next video on your screen. Pip out!